Kia ora from Tokyo. I'm the Binta Buster in Tokyo. Funny that. Anyway, today I'm going to show you make an awesome sauce to go with your tempura. It's called ponzu, and this recipe is also a vegan recipe. So to all you vegans out there, this one is safe to eat. No dashi stock in this one. Also, this recipe can be made in 30 seconds, so let's get started. Oh, well, I think we already have. The first thing you have to do is dissolve the sugar in some hot water. Then after that, just add the rest of the ingredients in any order. So in goes the mirin. Next in goes the soy sauce. Then the rice vinegar, aka sushi vinegar. And finally, some lemon juice. Ponzu is a citrus based tipping sauce. And as you can see, I'm using lemon for mine. But you could sub that for lime juice. And if you can get hold of it, yuzu juice would be awesome in this. Oh, and guess what? We are done. The dipping sauce is complete. Now just take a look at that. That's some attractive and enticing dipping sauce. Now I guess most of you will know what this is, but if you don't, this is called daikon oroshi. It's simply finely grated daikon radish with a juice squeezed out. It's super quick to make and it goes awesome with tempura, so if you can make it, I really recommend it. Okay, so now it's time to try out this ponzu sauce. As you can see, in my tray here, I've got some vegetable tempura from my local supermarket. And this is a piece of sweet potato tempura, and it's going to be first into the pool. Yep, that's right. As you can see, I'm a double dipper, and sometimes a triple dipper. And yes, that guys, that is delicious. That is 100% ponzu, baby. Okay, now it's time to take this ponzu to a different level. And to achieve that, all I have to do is just mix in this grated daikon. And there you have it, instant flavor bomb. Oh, and next, how about a little bit of pumpkin? Maybe it's just me, but when I eat tempura, I always love to use ponzu sauce. It's pretty hard to describe, but the citrus flavor it really adds to the taste. And also, remember, this has been daikonified, so it's got double tasting goodness. It's citrusy, and it's also radishy. And that just equals awesomeness. And by the way, that pumpkin was really good. Okay, now let's get stuck into the eggplant. Another popular dipping sauce is called mintsuyu. Now it is pretty potent, so you have to dilute it with a little bit of water. And after you've done that, you've got yourself some tempura dipping sauce. But unfortunately, mintsuyu does contain dashi, so it's not exactly vegan friendly. But don't worry too much about that, because this ponzu sauce is vegan friendly. Oh, and the eggplant was very nice indeed. And now it's time for the last piece of tempura. And this piece is a kind of hodgepodge of onion and carrot and something else. And it's no surprise that it goes great with my ponzu sauce too. Oh, and before I go, my little guys have been watching from the sidelines and they just wanted to say hello. It's incredibly hot here in Tokyo and I think I'm taking up these guys spot in the sunshine. So I guess they want me out of here. Okay guys, message received loud and clear. I'm out of here. As always, thanks for watching. I'm the Bento Buster and if you're gonna have tempura, make some ponzu. I'll catch you next time. Stay safe and stay strong. Kia kaha.